What's up guys and welcome back to Subnautica. We are here in this uh, this cove tree room and uh, you guys can see down to our right This is the base we built in the last episode. It's pretty bare bones for now I think eventually we're gonna have to go back to our main base get some more materials get some stuff to outfit it Make it look good make it sustainable so we can grow you know plants and and maybe breed fish and all kinds of stuff like that for food but uh, today we are going to be going deeper than we have ever gone before. So recently we got upgrades for both the Cyclops as well as the Prawn Suit. We can go down to uh, 1300 meters deep with both of these. And uh, you guys can see we're here at 911 already. So uh, we're pretty deep as is. But you guys remember a few episodes ago, the first time we were down here, we took the Seamoth and we went through this little area and then it dropped down you could go further down but we couldn't go there because our sea moth couldn't go deep enough and I think that's what I'm gonna check out today we've got some power cells charging back at our base um, I just kind of want to explore and, and see what we got going on this should be interesting we'll see what kind of trouble we can get into and see if we can discover anything new like I think eventually we're gonna have to go back and we're gonna have to uh, to what's it called have to you know kind of regroup back at the main base and, and bring back all kinds of little you know materials and, and whatever else but uh, we might as well check out what we got going on first so I'm gonna go ahead and hop out here let's go see let's see what's going on in here I know I saw there's a ruby over here so we're gonna grab this and then I'm gonna see if there's anything down in here we know we can go in this blue stuff oh hello big daddy Alright, so we're going to be getting the prawn suit down here. So it goes all the way over to this side here. Grab the rubies, grab the the uraninite. Another piece down here. Okay. We're going to have lots of that stuff, whatever we need it for. I'm not even sure, but uh, we've got it. Hello, beautiful. Let me just drill you real quick, and then we're going to continue on with our journey. Alright, we've got this thing powered back up. Make sure we have enough space in the bottom here, don't run into anything. But yeah, this is where we've got a, a bit of a drop off down here. And we're gonna see if we can maneuver this thing down. This is a bit sketchy, but I don't know, I guess we'll see what's going on. Bring it back down, make sure our tail is good. Looks like our tail is good. Alright, we're going down, boys. We actually kinda need to need to turn it around and go the other way. Hold on. We're gonna go back up. We're gonna have to do a 360 because we gotta go down to the right. I didn't realize that. Alright, we're good here. Trying not to scrape the wall if we don't have to. Looks like we're good. Turn this thing, go forward a little bit, line her up, and then we should be able to just float our way down there. We've also got that pool down there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop the prawn suit one more time, see if we can find anything. Got some more of this uraninite. We've got some lead or some lithium. All right, yep. There's more stuff down here. Dang it, dude. I was hoping not to have to drop the prawn again. The mining is is not the most exciting part of this game, but we might as well do it while we've got it. You know what I mean? All right, guys. Here we go. Back at it. Oh my goodness. There's another pool down here. Fluid intake. I don't want to. I don't want to do any of that, man. Watch out, little fellas. How deep are we so far? Still got another like 300 to go. A little bit less than 300. Ooh, this is... This is getting creepy. What is that red stuff? Is that lava? We've got sand sharks down here. I see a warper down there. Bro, we can go right or left. What do you guys think? I'm gonna go right. Looks like we've got a lot of room to the right. Shoot, we don't we don't want to get stuck down here though. That's the problem. I bet it's hot AF out there right now. Bro, this is insane. All right, so we've got we've got random little deposits and stuff. That's a new thing I haven't seen before. I'm looking for any sort of new materials. I feel like the new materials are it's at it's titanium down there. 
Gotta be careful piloting this. I'm, I'm curious. Hold on. Curiosity might kill the cat right now. I'm curious if we're allowed to be out. Nope, not really. Let me back in. Well, we can very briefly, but it's, I mean, obviously it's, it's hot. I mean, there's, there's nothing else you can say. It's hot. All right, here we go. Sustenance. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one of these. And then we're gonna drink a water. Vital signs stabilizing. We should be okay. How you doing, bud? Why, why, why are you just a, a, attached to my thing? I don't like you like that. There's gotta be interesting little like metals and stuff down here. Being this deep and this hot, dude, hundred percent. There's gonna be. Oh, he's stuck too. There's gonna be like special, special metals that we can't get anywhere else. What is that thing? Just looks like lava rock. Unless it's lava rock that we can mine, should we check it out? I'm gonna set us up right here. Let's just drop the prawn really quick. Nothing, nothing crazy. Dude, this is, this is insane. We just have to remember how to get back out of here. Ooh. What is this? Can't mine it. Okay. I think we we were too close to the ground when we dropped the prawn, and so it made the uh, it made the cyclops move up. Systems online. Okay. I could definitely use sonar down here to know like what's around the next corner and stuff. What is that stuff? Is that just lava? That might just be lava. How deep are we? 1200, we aren't gonna be able to go much farther, boys. That's new. What is that? Why is this dude still stuck to me? Are we good? In There's a warper up there. Are we good, bro? What is this blue stuff? Bro, I really, really do not want to get lost in here. I've got a feeling we're going to get lost in here. This would be like the worst spot to get lost to. So we need... We need some way to mark it. What is this over here? Some sort of crystal? Kyanite. Deep blue heat resistant crystal. I think this might be something that we needed as... as part of making our rocket. Dude, honestly, part of me feels like we should explore this area with... Why aren't we getting any kyanite? Is this stuff just, like, super rare and it doesn't drop it all the time, or is my game bugged? Are we really about to not get a single piece from this? Okay then, that's that's cool. I didn't want it anyway. Bro, we are gonna see some bad stuff down here. I already know. All right, I'm gonna explore around in the prawn suit a little bit just because I'm I'm a wee bit nervous about getting lost. More kyanite right here. Can he mess with us? Inside this, th he's pulled us out of our sea moth before. Out of here, bro. I don't play these games. Get out of here. Okay, sorry about the screen. Sorry about the, the screen, fellas. That was just a little bit scary. Ah, there we go. There's some Kai, okay. So the, the last, this is a much bigger deposit than last time. Maybe that's why. Maybe the little deposits don't really give you that much. I don't know. There's all kinds of new stuff out here. Is there like a heat resistant, a heat resistant suit? I'd like to be able to get out and scan some of this stuff, but I'm worried about getting out. There's some more kyanite. All right, we'll take it. We'll take. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. We're getting kyanite now, boys. Should my objective right now just be to get kyanite? Why do I feel like we're like stepping on like a live, a live thing or something? You know what I mean? Like I feel like this thing's gonna come alive. I think we're all right. Let's 
There's another piece of kyanite over here. I think I'm gonna go for it. Whew. We're good. I'm just gonna sit here and drill and try to get as much as we can. I don't really know. We need to bring more beacons. If we brought more beacons and we could could set out beacons so we kind of know where to go, then that would be good. Dude, there's, I, I've got a feeling there's something out here that we don't want to mess with. Oh! Did he just... Bro, I think he's throwing lava at us. And our, th our thing's about to go down. Hold on. I want to make sure he doesn't doesn't kill us. We appear to be good. So we can swim in certain areas. We've got to pay attention. The the prawn suit has a... Uh, it's got a, a, a... What's it called? A thermometer down there. It's 10 degrees Celsius right here, which isn't, isn't too bad. But if we get down near that stuff, obviously that's going to... Going to go really big. So another piece down here, dude. We're getting close to that... We're getting close to that 300. Dude, we... Wow. Look at how far we are from the entrance that we had to the Lost River. That's the crazy part. We are so much deeper, and that's already a really deep part. Where that beacon up there is, that's a very deep part of the water, of the ocean. And we're significantly under that and really far away from it now. Dude, this is... This is a bit scary. What's up, buddy? You look kind of nice, I guess. Alright, what else? We've got warpers... There's some weird noises being made right now, man. I don't know if I like it. It's kind of cool just exploring, though. Definitely do not want to fall down there. Oh, that'd be so bad. Okay. We've got gold. Some more kyanite right there. Woo! I feel like Tarzan out here, boy. All right. At this. Living life on the edge, friends. About to fall in a lava pit. I've got a feeling that would destroy our prawn suit. He seems pretty tough, but I don't know if he's that tough. I keep thinking I'm getting snuck up on or something, dude. I don't know. All right, here we go. Oh, we are, we are dancing with the devil right now, dude. Look at this giant piece. Come to Papa. Whoo. Don't fall off into the lava trap. That's the biggest thing here. Don't lose the prawn suit and everything with it. We wouldn't even have any kyanite to go home with. Watch out, bro! Woo! Gotcha! That was... <laughs> Gave him the old hammer, baby. With the elbow. Throwing bows out here. With our prawn suit. That was... That was pretty cool. I'm just trying to get as much kyanite as we can. Um... It doesn't drop very well. The, the drop rate is not good. I don't, I feel like my game could be glitched, but I also feel like maybe that's by design. It's probably by design, let's be honest. Um, I kind of, bro, he's mad. You mad, bro? You mad, huh? Leave me alone. I, I can't, get out of here. Bro, this fish is literally on fire. Uh, I kind of want to, I kind of want to explore around with our, our what's it called, but I'm also really, really nervous about that, our Cyclops, because I, I just feel like we need beacons and stuff, because this, okay, are you freaking kidding me, are you freaking kidding me, dude, I, I ain't going out like that, I, I, I didn't know he could do it in the prawn suit. Get me out of here. Come on. We got a Tarzan out of here. Woo! Let's go. Oh, he's, he's trying to get us again. This dude is trying. Come on. Get me out of here. Woo! Where you at, cuz? You ain't that quick. Oh, my gosh. Can he teleport us out of the Cyclops? Could you guys imagine? I would lose my mind. Alright, I think we just have to go straight up. Come on. Come on. Whew. We made it home safe and sound. We've got decoys in here we can use if we need them.
Oh my gosh. Can we can we fix this thing from here? We cannot. Okay. Look at all the kyanite though. We'll take it. I feel like that's a that's a good a good win. I'm gonna say let's try to find a landmark. Let's do a lap around the um around this room because it's like a big bowl it looks like i i don't know we're gonna venture out a little bit with the sub here but uh i'm i'm not a hundred percent confident that's a good idea and we st we still have these is that bad what are you a lava larva let me see what this is all about. Grub-like species which appears to lack sight and smell, but it's able to sense suction cup, torso, behavior. Remove to conserve batteries, it says. Are you serious? So, how bad are they draining our battery? Oh my god! No! No, no, there's no way, dude. How do you not... How do you not tell somebody about this? How do you not tell somebody that it's this, that they're that bad, dude? I hope I don't die here. We gotta, dude, we gotta get out of here. What if, what if I, hold on, what if, what if I turn our, oh, the shield's gonna, oh, dude, we just gotta go. There's too many of them, we gotta go. Oh my God, oh my God, get me the fudge out of here, dude. Give me the fudge out of here. Are you freaking serious? Bro, we ain't making it back. We we ain't making it back. We might. I don't I I don't know how long they but I cannot believe these things stick to you and then suck your battery. Do you guys remember where we turned left? Oh dude, I'm I'm an, I'm going to be worried sick. I'm stressed. We Dude, look at these little bastards. Look at them. They just don't stop. 19%. We might actually be all right. We just have to make sure that we turn left when we can turn left. There's a certain spot where we could turn right or left. Got a warper right next to us. I, I think we went a decent ways though. How are we looking? 15%? Oh my gosh, dude. This is it. Oh my gosh, the blue waterfalls. Dude, I was I was holding my breath. Alright, so I'm I'm gonna get out of this this lava area and then we're gonna look at these guys they're literally sitting there waiting to attach to your sub or whatever vehicle you bring down here that's genius game developers that thought of that so you can't just like diddle daddle around down there and not worry about anything that is absolutely genius hats off to that all right i'm gonna i'm gonna exit here we're gonna try to conserve oh shoot hold on we're gonna try to conserve what we can we gotta get out we're gonna we're gonna take these boys off Dude, imagine, I don't think I would have looked at that, like, I, I don't think I would, I don't think I would have looked at our battery, I was planning on doing like a tour around that thing, I don't think I would have looked at it, imagine we didn't scan these guys and we would have been completely, completely screwed, dude, get out of here, get out of here, bro, dude, there's so many levels to this game, like, it's seriously really cool, out of here. Get off of my thing. We got anybody else? Any other takers? Get out of here, bro, you little leeches. Don't be sucking on my battery. That battery's mine. Got him here. Got him here. We good? A couple guys over by the tail. We got more coming on as we're taking them off. Any ever by the engine? Look at this! Sh Look at this, dude! Get out of here! Alright, we gotta go. 
we gotta go. We just dodged one of the biggest bullets of, of 2019, my fellas. There's more on this stupid thing, dude. Oh my gosh, we're down to 9%. Okay. We just gotta go up. Just gotta go up. Make sure our tail doesn't hit. So there is now an entirely new area that we have yet to explore down at 1300 meters. So they, there's got to be a lava base down there, 100%. Like we, we, we read about the lava base, about how that was like the center of their power and everything else. There's got to be a lava base down there. So eventually we're going to come back for that. We need to make some more purple tablets because I'm sure we'll need them for that thing. And then maybe look into ways. I don't know if we use our shield if that gets rid of these lava larva. Um, I don't know if. I'm trying to think of anything else. I know there are like thermal upgrades to be able to charge your stuff via thermals. I don't know if that would be a, something we could put on the Cyclops. I'm not really sure. But, uh, dude, that was freaking. That was scary. I, I don't even know what to say. I, I panicked about that. All right, let me run back here real quick. You know what? I'm, I'm taking all the batteries. I'm going to take all the power cells. F you and your little, little, you know, battery stealing cells, little battery a-holes. I'm going to take all the power cells so you guys have absolutely nothing. Good luck. Good luck sucking me dry now, huh? What do you think about that? He disappeared. They all left. Of course. Of course! Alright. We made it back, dude. We we are extremely fortunate. So we're gonna come over here to our base. I hope our base is still doing okay. I don't know how long our base is gonna work is Welcome the problem. Aboard, Captain. I don't... Let me go see. I don't know how the... It's got 2,500 out of 2,500 charge. I feel like it should have used some charge to charge the power cells before, you know what I mean? So I, I don't... I don't know why that's... I don't know why that's not going down. We've got four power cells fully charged in here, so I'm gonna start... I'm gonna start putting these in. Because we're gonna need those to go home. I think, honestly, I think we just need to make a full thing of batteries and a full, a full thing of power cells. Because not only are we weak on that, but like... Look at this. This is 94 because we don't use it. 40, 57. Our laser cutter has nothing in it because we used it all. And our habitat builder is at 72. So, like, we're, we're kind of getting low on that as well, which is scary. Oh, look. He's back. Anybody else back? You guys don't even spawn here. How are you here? They came back as soon as they got battery again. Make sure we have nothing... And we should be good to go. But yeah, I, I think that's one of the... Oh, we've got more guys up here. That's the problem. I think they followed us up. Get out of here, brother. I think they followed us up from their lava pit. From hell. Now, I want to see something here. Can we... Let me take a kyanite. We, we can't scan that, can we? I think we have to actually... Scan the deposit in real life to be able to get the new recipes and stuff I don't I don't think we can scan it like that. I don't even know if we have to scan it, but uh, Looks like we're clean there, and uh, I don't know we're, we're gonna let the we're gonna I'm gonna charge up some power cells I think it's time to go back to our main main base uh, We've discovered an entirely new area that we're gonna have to, to uncover the secrets of and I, I think there's gonna be a lava base and, and some big stuff down there but we just, we need to make it so that this thing is self-sustaining. We need to be able to stay down here for an extended period of time. We need multiple power cell chargers. We need more bioreactor rods just in case this thing ever fails. We need a way to grow food as well as I know there's a way to, um, there's a way to, to like breed fish. That could be kind of cool. You can get an alien containment unit. So I think stuff like that is what we need to focus on, and then we're gonna come back down here. We're gonna set up our base to be 100% self sustained It's a hard... It's a hard word. We're gonna set it up. It's 
a hard word. We're going to set it up to be self-sustaining, and then we can stay down here for an extended period of time. We'll have plenty of power cells, and we don't really have to worry about those guys. We'll have, you know, extra batteries and whatever else, and we'll have a working base that we can come back to, and we don't have to be, you know, running dry on all of our materials and stuff. So, I, I think that's the play. And, uh, I don't know. Like I said, I think we're gonna, gonna let these power cells charge a bit. We're probably gonna get a couple, a couple backup extras. Not that we really need to. We're kind of, I think we're kind of pretty good to go, but, uh, I don't know. I I'm gonna get some extras just in case, and then we're gonna head home. Come on, baby! We're at 93%. I'm trying to get this final power cell charged, because I charged all of them. You guys can see here, we've got 100% across the board. I'm trying to get this final one done before we're going to have to leave for water. We're cutting it a little bit close, but I think we're going to be okay. Come on, baby. 97%. Oh, gosh. We're at nine water right now. 98%. Dude, I'm pretty sure you die. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. I'm pretty Welcome sure you, you, you straight up die. Emergency. Starvation when you run out of water like that here we go we better better hope we've got some water in here we do all right take that water take that food take another food and then we could could probably take another water we're good all right boys i think it's time to leave the lost river for now we're definitely going to be coming back soon but I just, I, I don't think we're well enough prepared for what we have going on down here. So I'm trying to think of a checklist. We need to make the base down here self-sufficient so we can just come down here and never have to leave. We need to be able to grow food, potentially like harvest food and, and kind of, you know, breed it, I guess. Uh, we need to come back down here. I would really like, why is, why is our sub stuff behind the, you guys see that it's like behind the green stuff um, we could probably set up something so we can use the thermal vents I'm pretty sure there are a couple of thermal vents in that room so we could use that for power so we need to look into that as well uh, we need to probably build another seamoth down here it'd be nice to have a seamoth down here to be able to move around obviously we're gonna bring the prawn suit back so we can drill and whatever else but if we could use a seamoth to kind of scout around and check things out that would be good um, what else is there? Stuff to make the base look pretty. I'd like some windows and stuff like that just to make it look a little bit better. And uh, then extra batteries, extra power cells. And I, I think that's all we need. So we just we need to fool around up top with being self-sufficient. We need to find the alien containment unit. That's what I really want to find so that we can breed some, some animals and stuff. Uh, bring back whatever we need for farming and then whatever we want to, to make it look good. So I'm going to head back up top. Obviously, we're going to have to sneak by that ghost leviathan again. Although, I'm not too worried about it. It doesn't really give us too much too much of an issue. We could even turn silent running on since we're fully prepared with all of our, our cells and everything. And uh, I, I think we're going to be okay. I think this is a good look. We found an entirely new area that I didn't know existed, but we're going to be coming back for it. Oh, yeah, and beacons. We need lots and lots of beacons. We need to come up with names for like, you know, that area where we, we came out of the blue and we could go right or left. We need to come up with names for like those those junctions so we know how to get home and and stuff like that. Rig for silent running. Silent running is on. Let's go ahead and skirt this right wall. And hopefully be able to get around this guy without being attacked. He's just chilling going through the mountain. No big deal. I'm hoping he does. Okay, that was kind of scary. I'm hoping he doesn't see us. I'm hoping he doesn't see us. Yeah, dude, I think the silent running is key for him. We used it the first time got by him. I didn't know if it was a fluke or not, but it looks like that is the key. All right, so we can turn our silent running off. Gonna have to get up here. Wanna make sure we don't hit too many things on our way out. And we're good, boys. I guess the last thing that might stand in our way is a Reaper out there, but I'm not really too worried about those guys. If we do see a Reaper, I think it'd be kind of cool to uh to stun gun him and see if we can scan him. That might be kind of intense, but we'll we'll see what happens. Up we go, boys! Here we go! 
This is it. Ooh, getting a little, okay, a, little, a little close. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. I'm not too worried about it. Overall, a very successful mission, dude. I'm, I'm happy with how everything went. Let's go ahead and turn this bad boy around, and we are going to start heading back to the Neptune and everything else. Dude, we're going to have to make Cooper 3, man. I'm kind of excited about that. That should be fun. But, um... Man. I, just, I, I, can't believe, I can't believe we found an entirely new area. We've got ideas of what we want to do about our base and everything. I, I feel like this is a very successful episode. I'm excited to get back and explore around that thing some more. We just... We're gonna come back with beacons so we know exactly where we are and we don't get lost. This trip is killing me, dude. It takes so long to go back and forth. We absolutely need to figure something out to be able to stay down there for pretty much, I, I, we, it should be able to be indefinitely. We should never, never run out of stuff. So we're gonna kind of like get all the materials we need to like pre-make exactly what we know we want, like the power cell chargers and, and whatever else. And we're gonna do that. Um, you know what we should, we should have left our, oh, fudge. We should have left Coda there and then we could have taken Cooper back. Oh man, I didn't even think about that. We'll have to do that the next time we make a, a home trip. But, um, yeah, we're going to pre-make everything we need, have that all good to go. And then I think I'm going to take like, you know, we'll, we'll take 50 titanium, 50 quartz, 50 salt, 50 whatever. And then that way we kind of have like a, a fully stocked base there where we aren't aren't gonna have to keep coming back dude i'm so mad we didn't leave K koda there that was so dumb look at how cool our base looks underwater from above water i like that dude all right so let's go ahead and power our engines down we're we're good to go man i mean we we did okay you guys can see we've got a um, bunch of this uraninite stuff lithium Kind of the same thing here along with kyanite, a lot of kyanite in here. And then I got some uh, some titanium and quartz up here on the way out. So uh, I think we're looking pretty good, dude. We're gonna pretty much turn this Cyclops into Noah's Ark on the way back. We're gonna have like a couple of each plant. We're gonna have a couple of each animal after we, we gotta figure out how that stuff works, how to farm and, and kind of harvest animals and stuff. But uh, it's going to be pretty cool. So I'm really looking forward to it. I hope you guys are too. Drop a like on this video if you guys are excited for the next episode. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on notifications. I'm going to see you guys there. Peace out.